All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome to my WrestleMania 36 Night 2 predictions video. As all of the predictions, I'll be playing matches that will happen on WrestleMania Night 2 uh, on your screen. Only some of them, and I'll um, predict all of the matches over the top of the uh, AI playing this match as Drew McIntyre is fucking up Brock Lesnar, this will be the main event tonight of night 2, you have heard my brief review of night 1 and the uh, schedule update video, if you haven't seen that go check it out, I posted that up about an hour ago or two, I'm not sure when this is going up, um, but anyway, another cover, one and a kicker, alright, so, let's get on with the Wrestlemania 36 night 2 Predictions night one was pretty successful. Let's get a main event in the show, so I'll predict this last and let's predict the rest of the card. So we will start off with Alistair Black versus Bobby Lashley. My favourite match of all time. The storyline's been off the charts. Absolutely great. There's no fucking story at all. Why is this match happening? I guess you want them to be on the rest of the card, but at least put some build up behind it. Come on, guys. Um, they're treating this as a first time ever match, big dominant beasts of Raw, going up against each other. I gotta go with Alistair Black, man, like he's the, he's a, he's a new prospect, he's the new era of superstars. They gotta, they gotta do something with him, they gotta push him, they gotta give him the big one here. So yeah, man, Alistair Black to beat Bobby Lashley on the grandest stage alone for a no crowd. This match wouldn't happen if there was a crowd, like if there was a crowd this match would not happen, but there is a crowd. There's, there is no crowd, uh, but if there was a crowd, this match wouldn't happen. But there's no crowds, this match gonna happen, and Alistair Black going to take the win. Moving on to the Raw Tag Team Championship match, another match that just should be cancelled and shouldn't be happening. Should be happening. It makes absolutely no sense. Andrade was injured, he can't compete in this, and Austin Theory will team with Angel Garza to take on the champions of the Street Profits, Montez Ford and Angelo. Dawkins, this is just easy, man. The Street Profits to win. I mean, like, what, what is there to say about this? I mean, Austin Theory was not even meant to be in the match, so like, they're not just gonna put him in the match now. Like, they're not just gonna no. Well, he's in the match, but they're not gonna have him and Garza win the titles now because Theory wasn't even meant to be in the match. So it's just easy. The Street Profits are going to win, and Brock Lesnar just fucking beat Drew McIntyre. With signature, three power bombs. Fucking hell, man, that was quick. Wow, they're gonna put on another match, my god. And I've only predicted two matches, so yeah, Alistair Black to defeat Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits to defeat Garza and Austin Theory. We'll predict the next one uh, real quick here. We have got the Women's Fatal Five Way. We've got Bailey defending. Her SmackDown Women's Championship in a five-way elimination match. We have got Bailey versus Naomi, Lacey Evans, Sasha Banks, and the best, Tamina. You can't get Roman Reigns on the show. You can't get Andrade on the show. You can't get Rey Mysterio on the show. That's fine. That is absolutely fine because we have got Tamina. Woo-hoo. The Tamina train is coming to WrestleMania. She's going to win. The no, she's not. Bailey's going to return. And that's one. Um... Sasha and Bailey will benefit for a few years. Sasha's gonna have a face turn. Bailey is going to be proper heel. She's gonna hit Sasha with the belt. Uh, it's gonna be in the final two, and Bailey is gonna retain. And then we'll build into the feud of the summer. Bailey and Sasha, the feud that should have happened a few years back. But yeah, man, Bailey is gonna retain here to hype up a feud with heel Bailey and face Sasha for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Let's move into the next set of predictions. Let's move into another match that's happening here on night two of WrestleMania 36. All right then, here we go. Moving on to the next set of matches here on WrestleMania. So we've predicted three so far. Got five more to go. This could be a quick video. I gotta get my points out here. So let's get it going, man. This match, we're right this match. Why the hell not? This is the best story going on in WWE right now. The best hype storyline in the WWE to hype up this match here at WrestleMania. This is great. Building from the Royal Rumble match. Absolutely great stuff. And I'm happy this is finally happening now. It's amazing, man. 
Edge vs Marleon, last man standing match. This is good. All right, so this is Edge's first match back uh, from nine from nine years. First singles match back in nine years. I guess it's former best friend Randy Orton referee knocked down. It's former best friend Randy Orton of Rated RKO. Um, that's great, man. It's great. Uh, I love the storyline. I love all the things with Beth Phoenix, with Matt Hardy, with Edge from the start. I love heel Randy Orton. He just does not work as a babyface. Randy Orton as a babyface is just not. It just it, this doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. Orton as a heel works so well. So that's the last man standing match here at WrestleMania. Uh, it's gonna be good, man. Edge's first match back. Edge is gonna win it here, um, but I feel like Edge is gonna do the same thing to Orton. Edge is gonna can share to Randy Orton like time after time after time after time after time, and then Randy Orton's not gonna get to his feet. But that, that has to be a great match. Like the story built, amazing. Edge, amazing. This has to be the match. This has to be the the match of the night. I mean, it might not be, but I want it to be a really good match, and I feel like it will. You got Edge and Orton, some great wrestlers. They know what they're doing in there. Feel like this could be a great one. Edge, please get up. Edge, please, thank you very much. I don't want to go into another match. Um, so yeah, man, I'm gonna go with Edge to win because it's the first match, some first singles match back in nine years. It makes sense. It wouldn't make sense to just have him lose after coming back. Um, uh, they lose to Randy Orton, who's done it all. So yeah, man, Edge, Edge is gonna win. Uh, but yeah, man, I hope it has a good match. They know what they're doing. It will be a great one to see, the least. Yeah, so there we go. Edge to win that one. Moving on to the next match. We'll still keep this match on screen. I'm not going to change the match every time I talk about a different match. No, that will not happen. All right, so the next one then. We have got the Firefly Funhouse match. We have got John Cena versus the Fiend Bray Wyatt and the Firefly Funhouse and like the Undertaker Boneyard match and the Buried Alive match, it's the Undertaker's stipulation. I mean, AJ made the match, but the Undertaker, he's done Buried Alive matches for years. He's great, you know. So, um, he, yeah, he's been doing Buried Alive matches since like with Kane and stuff. And it's a Boneyard match. He doesn't like AJ Styles. He won that. Therefore. You should win and your stipulation. So the Fiend Bray Wyatt should defeat John Cena and has own stipulation of the Firefly Funhouse match. Fiends, Randy Orton here in this one. Fiend Randy Orton, oh my god, I'm among, oh, I'm cutting that out. So yeah, I'm gonna go with the Fiends, Bray Wyatt to win that one and defeat John Cena and the Firefly Funhouse as he should, man, as he should. Next up, we've got Rhea Ripley versus Charlotte Flair. Who is going to win this one? What do I think? I'll tell you what I think, man. I think the winner is going to be Charlotte. But I want the winner to be Rhea. Honestly, I don't really mind who wins. But I feel like they're going to give it to Charlotte. Because Charlotte's going to go down to NXT and defend the title against the likes of Io Shirai, Mia Yim, Dakota Kai, and the potential next champion, Bianca. Layer. So yeah man, I'm gonna go with um with Charlotte Flair and they become championship. Gonna go back to Charlotte Flair, she's gonna go back to NXT. What will be for what like what will we Ripley do after that? Absolutely no idea. I don't know, but I mean I hope she does something. I really do. I hope she does something man. Uh there's another match yet. Otis versus Dolph Ziggler. Will Otis get his revenge guys? Well it's finally happened. You know what Vince McMahon is like, it's not going to happen, Dolph Ziggler is going to win. And you know what else is sad about this fact? This is Dolph Ziggler's first ever singles match at Wrestlemania. I know, oh, big spear from Edge, that was beautiful. But yeah man, Dolph Ziggler's first ever singles match at Wrestlemania. What? That is crazy and it's going up against Otis, he has to win it. Um, I really, I, I feel like I want Otis to win, but... Vince McMahon would not think that a guy like Otis would get like a girl would get a girl like Mandy. So he believes Dolph would, and yeah, man, he's gonna give it to Dolph Ziggler. So Dolph Ziggler are gonna win this one. And by the way, Mandy Rose should be the special guest referee. Why is she not? I hope they change that tonight. I hope Mandy Rose gets in there, steps into the ref, and she'll probably screw over Otis. But I mean, 
Sonya did send the text, so it could change, but I'm still going to say Dolph Ziggler to win. There's the best move in all professional wrestling by the Viper, Randy Orton. Alright then, next matchup then. The final matchup I will be predicting as the match that was on there and well did not last long at all. And as Drew McIntyre versus Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship and I hope it lasts longer than the game thinks it lasted because that's the main event of the show. Gonna be a good one and I fucking hope Drew wins. Um, I don't care if there's no crowd there for Drew to get his moment. I feel like Drew has to win. He won the Royal Rumble, he came all this way, he's so over with the crowd that won't be there at WrestleMania. I feel like, I feel like he should win this. So ladies and gentlemen, I am going with Drew McIntyre to win in the main event of WrestleMania and become the WWE Champion. And that is my WrestleMania Night 2 prediction. Ladies and gentlemen, leave your predictions in the comment section down below. What do you think of mine? Do you think I'm absolutely wrong with all of them? Do you think I'm right with some of them and wrong with some of them? Do you think I'm right with all of them? Let me know what you think, guys. Well, Randy Orton go down from edge here. Or will get to his feet here. Count of eight. Count of nine and Orton getting back up. Let's let this match play out, ladies and gentlemen. Let's let it finish and then how it ends. The video. Let's jump cut to the winner. Good was edge. Kaboom. It's got a um, execution. Edge, he's got him. He's got on when he wants him. And the corner. Edge, what the spear? Edge, my favorite wrestler of all time. He does the worst spear, but it's okay, Edge. It's okay. Count of three. Edge gonna win the last man standing match. And it's gonna be a lot more brutal than this. We're gonna see chairs, tables, all that stuff. Hopefully, yeah, we probably will. Seven. Eight. Orton's out, man. He's not getting up, is he? Nine. And Edge won. Nice. All right, guys. That is that, then. For my WrestleMania 36 Night 2 predictions video. I will read all my predictions out once again. Alistair Black to defeat Bobby Lashley. The Street Profits to defeat Angel Garza and Austin Theory. Bailey to retain her Women's Championship on SmackDown. The elimination match against Tamina, the best. Sasha Banks, Naomi and Lacey Evans. Uh, Edge to defeat Randy Orton. Bray Wyatt to defeat John Cena. Charlotte Flair to defeat Rhea Ripley. Dolph Ziggler to defeat Otis. And Drew McIntyre to defeat Brock Lesnar to become the WWE Champion. So there you have it, man. That is my predictions for WrestleMania 36 of the referee is glitching. What a beautiful game 2K20 is. Not really. The match rating is what the game is. An absolute disaster. Thanks for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. And I'll see you soon. Peace.